In this tutorial, we'll cover how to invert colors in Adobe Illustrator, a technique that can help you create vibrant and futuristic color effects in your designs. Inverting colors works well for both vector and raster images, giving you creative control over your artwork's appearance. First, let's briefly distinguish between vector and raster images, as this will impact how you approach color inversion. Vectors are graphics made up of points, lines, and paths, allowing them to scale infinitely without losing quality. This makes vector images ideal for logos, icons, and illustrations, where clean, crisp lines are essential. Common file formats for vector images include PDF, AI, and SVG. In contrast, raster images are made up of tiny squares called pixels, where each pixel contributes to the image's color and overall quality. Raster images, like photos, can lose quality when scaled up, and are typically saved as JPEG, PNG, or TIFF files. To invert colors in Illustrator, if you're working with a vector file, start by selecting the object you'd like to edit. Then, navigate to Edit, Edit Colors, Invert Colors. Illustrator will automatically adjust the color values, creating a reversed or complementary color palette that can add an edgy, modern feel to your design. If your artwork is a raster image, the process involves a few additional steps. First, you'll need to embed the image within Illustrator. To do this, select the image and click Embed on the top menu. This process integrates the image into your Illustrator file, preventing it from becoming disconnected if the original file location changes. Once embedded, you can invert the colors of the raster image by selecting Edit, Edit TIFF Files. To invert colors in Illustrator, if you're working with a vector file, start by selecting the object you'd like to edit. Then, navigate to Edit, Edit Colors, Invert Colors. Illustrator will automatically adjust the color values, creating a reversed or complementary color palette that can add an edgy, modern feel to your design. If your artwork is a raster image, the process involves a few additional steps. First, you'll need to embed the image within Illustrator. To do this, select the image and click Embed on the top menu. This process integrates the image into your Illustrator file, preventing it from becoming disconnected if the original file location changes. Once embedded, you can invert the colors of the raster image by selecting Edit, Edit Colors, Invert Colors. This simple technique can transform a standard photograph or graphic into something more striking with minimal effort. Embedded images play a key role in Illustrator projects, especially when working with multiple assets or transferring files between devices. When an image isn't embedded, Illustrator relies on a link to the file stored on your computer. If you move the Illustrator file to a different computer or change the original image location, you'll encounter a broken link and the image may appear as a blank space. By embedding images, you avoid these issues and ensure all necessary assets remain within your Illustrator document. To embed an image, click on it to select it, then choose Embed from the top bar. You can also access the Links panel under Window Links to manage embedded images and see which images are linked versus embedded. For designers who frequently switch between raster and vector formats, Illustrator provides a range of tools for both conversion and editing. You can vectorize a raster image using the image trace function. This is ideal for creating a scalable version of an image that resembles the original, though the result will be less detailed for complex images. To vectorize an image, open it in Illustrator, select it, and choose Image Trace from the top menu. You can then pick from options like High Fidelity Photo for a detailed trace, or three colors for a more stylized look. Once you're happy with the result, click Expand to finalize the vector conversion and adjust individual vector points as needed. If you want even more control over vectorization, using the Pen tool allows you to manually trace an image, a process recommended for simpler, silhouette-style images. To do this, place your raster image in Illustrator and lower its opacity to about 70%, so you can see as you trace over it. Lock the image in place, Control 2 then use the pen tool to draw around its outline, creating a custom vector shape that can be colored or edited independently. For more complex images, this process can be time-consuming, but yields professional, polished results. Converting vector files to raster is just as straightforward. Exporting your vector artwork to a PNG, JPEG, or TIFF format will automatically rasterize the image, 
turning it into a pixel-based file. Alternatively, you can select your vector artwork and choose Object, Rasterize. A pop-up window will let you set specific rasterization options, such as resolution and anti-aliasing, ensuring you achieve the quality you need for the intended output. Inverting colors in Illustrator can be a powerful way to add bold contrast and fresh appeal to your designs, regardless of whether you're working with vectors or raster images. Whether you're creating logos, illustrations, or transforming photos, Illustrator provides a range of tools to make editing, embedding, and converting images intuitive and efficient.